Ready for a shock? Only about 43% of you is actually you. The rest are your friendly neighbors, microscopic creatures that help you function properly. They mainly live in your gut, but also spread to other parts of your body and never leave it. Still, even though your own cells are fewer than microbial ones, there are, on average, about 100 trillion of them in you. If you take all the microbes dwelling within your body and count their genes, it'll be anywhere from 2 to 20 million genes and their combinations. Tomatoes have more genes than humans. Well, the part that's actually us, of course. This shouldn't concern you, though, because it's not the number of genes that matters, but the complexity of their connections. Our brain is actually pretty large, almost as large as a pillowcase. It's squeezed into a relatively small head just because it's very wrinkly. If you could spread it out, you'd see how brainy you are in reality. When you age, your brain is gradually reducing in size. By age 75, it's much smaller than at 30, and it starts shrinking by the age of 40. It happens in everyone and doesn't affect your mental strength in any way. Our brain can store only 7 bits in its short-term memory. Don't even try to compare your brain with a phone capacity. Not even the one you had back in 2005. A mere byte is 8 bits. That's why you can't even learn a phone number by heart. Our short-term memory functions just like a chalkboard. You can get some info, but sooner or later you run out of space. Working memory is an essential thing that we need to perform almost any everyday activity, including basic conversations, navigating in the city, and even trying to copy the moves from a workout video. Our strongest and most emotional memories are usually fake. It's the way the central memory works. It gives us the confidence to believe everything we remember is real, even though we should be confident about fewer details. Your bones become more brittle with age as well, and your spine gets compressed. That's why older people often lose some of their height. In the same way, you're a bit taller in the morning than in the evening because your spinal column gets some rest while you're asleep. This effect is temporary, but the one that comes with age is, unfortunately, permanent. Our lifespan is programmed within our cells. They constantly renew and divide, but they have a sort of internal timer that stops at some point. Some cells also stop reproducing sooner than others. On average, cells cease dividing when we reach the age of 100. That means if we could find a way to trick our cells into turning off the timer, we could potentially live forever. Among mammals, only humans can always walk on two hind limbs and keep that posture for their entire lives. You might object that kangaroos and gorillas move in the same way, but kangaroos use their tail as a third leg, and gorillas use the help of their long arms to keep balance. Body fat isn't just a nuisance. It acts as insulation material, energy reserve, and shock absorber. Your body sends the most fat into your waist region because that's where your internal organs are. If something happens to you, this layer of fat might as well protect your vitals from irreparable damage. Your bones take part in metabolism, too. Since they mostly consist of calcium, when there's not enough of this element in your blood, bones start shedding it into the bloodstream, balancing your body. And vice versa, when there's too much calcium in your blood, it goes into the bones to be stored for later. Your skull consists of 28 different bones, many of which are fused together to protect your brain. The mandible, or lower jaw, is the only skull bone that's only kept attached to your head with connective tissues and muscles. And the smallest bone in your whole body is inside your ear. It's called stapes, and it's no larger than a grain of rice. The only bone to have a sense of humor in your body is inside your upper arm. That's why it's called humerus. Okay, I made that one up. Move along! Some of the strongest muscles in your body aren't in your arms or legs. They're in your head. Masseter is the main muscle responsible for chewing, and it needs to be the strongest for you to eat normally. And you know those muscles that allow you to move your ears? Those are temporalis, located above your temples. They also help you to chew your food. We've got two really fast muscles. They control the eyelid closing. In fact, they're the fastest muscles in our body. Eyes are fragile and need protection. That's why, when a reflex is triggered, these muscles shut the eyes within less than a tenth of a second. 
It's been believed for a long time that a person could distinguish more than 10,000 smells. A recent research showed that people were able to distinguish more than a trillion smells. We also remember them better than anything else, and smells can even evoke some distant memories. We recognize only purple-blue, green-yellow, and yellow-red colors. Everything else is a combination of these three. It's impossible to calculate how many of these combinations the human eye sees because every single person has slight vision differences, but it's about 1 million combinations on average. We feel about 80% of the taste of any food thanks to the nose and its ability to recognize odors. If you hold your nose while eating, you will taste almost nothing. You might have a chocolate bar or smoked fish in your mouth, there will be no difference for you. Your sense of smell turns completely off while you're asleep. Your brain just doesn't register any smells. So if you've fallen asleep and then something starts stinking in your house, you won't be bothered in the least. Rover, you bad boy! Your nose doesn't just help you breathe and catch odors. It filters the air for sensitive throats and lungs. If we inhale dry air, the nose moistens it, cools it, and heats it if it's necessary. Also, the nose cleans the air from dirt. We can accidentally digest small objects, such as plastic items, glass, coins, and many other small objects. They'll make their way through the digestive tract within 48 hours. And there's even a man who managed to eat a whole airplane. It took him years, though, but little by little, he finished his metal meal with no trouble at all. When asked if the plane was staying there forever, the guy replied, no, just passing through. Yeah, I made that up. Speaking of meals, you feel sleepy after a hearty lunch or dinner because of your basic instincts. Your brain thinks, and rightfully so, that when you eat, you're safe. And if you're safe, you can lie down and have some rest before going back to the world so full of dangers. Every person has their unique smell that can't be confused with anyone else's. Still, if you have an identical twin, you will both have the same smell. Now, our brain perceives giving presents as a more positive act than receiving them. Humans are social creatures. That's why, when we do something good for others, we feel good ourselves. The brain gives us a reward for acting this way in the form of oxytocin, the happiness hormone. Our eyes are powerful tools, much more so than any camera invented to this day. But still, unfortunately, they can't see the glow coming from our bodies. Yep, we're bioluminescent, just like some deep-sea creatures. The only difference is that our glow is so weak that only very sensitive capturing equipment can actually see it. Oops, time's up, gotta glow!